Hello everyone. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about handling the query parameter using the REST Assured framework. In our previous video, we have already discussed about the query parameter. Query parameter is the way by which you can send the argument its and its value along with the endpoint URL. So first of all, let me add a class inside the package. And let me call it as test query parameter. So in the postman, I'm going to send a get request to this endpoint, which will list down all the detail inside the container. And this is the API documentation for our laptop back war. And this is the endpoint for the query parameter. So let's say I will do the search based on IDS 75 and laptop name as latitude S series. So first I will do the static import import static io dot rest assured dot asterisk inside this I will add a test class public void test query parameter and the annotation at the rate test. So here I'm going to write a scenario. So given accept the content in JSON format and ID as 75 and laptop name as latitude s series when i perform the when i perform the get request then status code 200 ok should be returned and the this response content should have ID is 75 and feature list should contain one zero two four GB of SSD. So this is our scenario. So first given and the accept method, the content type will be JSON. Now if I look at the API documentation of REST Assured, so this is the given method which will return as the type of request specification. And inside the request specification, there is a method called There is a method called param so i'm going to use this method to supply the query parameter and as you can see here this method takes two argument the first one first one is the name of the parameter and second one is the its value so i'm going to use this method to supply the query parameter along with our request so here i will use dot param the parameter name is id so id which is 75 75 then second parameter is as you can see here the param param method return as the type of request specification which is the same class 
sorry which is the same interface so I can keep on calling this method multiple number of times and this will be latitudes as series and the parameter name is laptop name and after this so till this point this is the code after this when I perform the get request so let us inherit from the base class so we don't need to initial so if we inherit from the base class our environment variable will be initialized so here I will just apply slash query which is the context path of our endpoint after that let me print first then I will add the validation so as string and I am going to store this inside the string object and let me print it at the console so I am going to put a breakpoint over here and run this script in a debug mode So we are getting the proper content and now for the validation I can either use the JSON path or I can directly add the validation inside the same statement but uh, this time I'm going to use the JSON path for the validation so here I will use JSON or let me verify directly in the code so then assert that dot status code as http status dot 200 ok which is sc underscore ok and the body or i can use assert that dot body so first I need to check for the feature list so features this is the path to our list and here I will use has items so for that again I need to do the static import for Hamcras framework so import static org dot class dot matcher so it has item which is 1024 GB of SSD so let me run it in debug mode So create the request with ID as 75 and laptop name as latitude as series. Perform the get request. Then assert for the status code and then assert for the content. So our test case is getting passed. That means it has passed the validation. Let's say I change it to this and run this again. So we are getting the assertion error. So this is how you can handle the query parameter in rest assured framework.